Welcome friends to our second Book Scouts of the Summer. This month I'm sharing my favorite reads that explore myths, legends, fables, and more. First up is a picture book by Andrea Wong and illustrated by Alina Chow called The Nian Monster. In this story, a young girl comes face to face with the legendary Nian Monster who has returned to Earth to devour Shanghai as the city is preparing for the Lunar New Year. Using her wit and bravery, our young hero must outsmart the Nian monster to banish him for good. My favorite part of this story is the soft and colorful illustrations. Even though the Nian monster sounds horrible, I find his big round head and eyes quite adorable. The next book I want to highlight is also a picture book called Under the Great Plum Tree by Sophia Ahmed and illustrated by Riza Dalvand. Based on an ancient Indian fable, this colorful story is a heartwarming tale of an unlikely friendship between a kind monkey and an old crocodile. And look at the beautifully delicate pattern on the end papers. This one is highly recommended for its gorgeous art and happy story. Next up is a graphic novel called Arthur and the Golden Rope by Joe Todd Stanton. Arthur is a gentle adventurer who loves magical creatures. But when the great wolf Fenrir threatens his town, he must seek the help of the Viking gods to save his people from certain doom. Fans of Norse mythology will love this tale. Next, I want to talk about a chapter book that is perfect for mythology and graphic novel fans alike. Thundercluck by Paul Tillery IV tells of an epic hero hatched from the pet hen of Thor himself and bestowed with the power of the gods by an errant lightning bolt. Aided by his friend, the young Valkyrie Brunhilde, he must defeat an evil chef who threatens all of Asgard. This book is a great choice for reluctant readers. It has illustrations interspersed with the text and is laugh out loud hysterical. The last book I want to share is a nonfiction poetry selection. It's called Echo Echo, Reverso Poems About Greek Myths, and it was written by Marilyn Singer. Reverso poems can be read forward or backward and often tell a completely different story depending on which way you read it. These poems take duos from Greek mythology and show both viewpoints through the same words but rearranged. My favorites are the poems about Perseus and Medusa. The author also includes info on each of the myths at the bottom of each page. I hope you'll give some of these mythical reads a try, and if you need more, you'll find a longer list linked in the blog post accompanying this video. Put some on hold for curbside pickup today, and hopefully we'll see you there soon. Bye-bye.